Don't worry, Jello. I'm definitely not gonna steal your interrogation. I swear, no dude, way. I'm not. Dickhead! <laughs> I just <laughs> wanted to see what you would do. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so good. You're fucking dead to me. You are dead to me. You better watch out this round. You go catch a bullet. You go catch a bullet, boy. Oh, guys. Hey, look. I, uh, guys, I, I downed Sophia. A singular spread. Dickhead! I respect my female adversaries. Your phone is ringing. Here. Let me get that for you. <laughs> Welcome back to Operation White Noise, the brand new season of Rainbow Six featuring operators too dumb to silence their cell phones and easy mode pistol recoil that's turned everybody into a cav main. You're next! Please, please, no! Oh god, no! But today's video isn't about the spooky woman, it's about the hacker woman. Okie dokie Dekepi, an operator that I love, but a character that I hate. To make that a little bit clearer, I love what she can do, but I hate who she is. Her entire trailer just reeks of a smug elitism about her hacking ability, and it's really off-putting, to the point that it makes even characters like LOL so random D.Va likable, and I really, really hate D.Va. Winky face, LOL. Gamer Easy mode. Know your fucking place, trash. Don't get me wrong, I love a character with a smug, shit eating grin, but it has to be blatant smug, because quiet, reserved smug just makes you look like an egotistical coward and makes you want to turn your entire operator video into a series of shit posts. Your phone is ringing. Here. Let me get that for you. I'm really sorry that I had to do this. I just really love shitposting. I gotta hand it to Poopysoft though. Her name is pretty clever because it roughly translates to goblin, or as the game likes to say, <laughs> which is not only the Korean equivalent of the Grim Reaper, but is also known for wearing a special hat, hence the beanie on her head, which, given her character traits, may as well be a fucking fedora. And if that wasn't enough, her appearance is largely based off of a Korean supermodel named Mihi Huang, and the only reason that I know that is because of a ton of research that I conducted a few years ago that involved both 16 ounces of Luberderm and and my own tears. But dispensing with the nonsense about her that I hate and moving on to her abilities that I love, she happens to have two of them. Her logic bomb grants you the ability to ring the phones of all defending operators, denying them the use of cameras and forcing said phones to vibrate until deactivated via a short animation and typically some disgruntled screaming. Fucking dickhead phone. I'll pick up my red ring tomorrow. I got bitches. Oh, oh, I like your ringtone. Keep it going. Oh, why did you ruin it? God, for the last time, you dumb bitch, I don't speak moon runes. Unless you're a weeb and you're playing Echo, because I guess these two used to bang or something, and as a result, you don't have to experience the annoyance of a buzzing phone. Telephone. Why you gotta be... <laughs> Jesus, can somebody at Ubisoft explain to me why during the hacking animation, all five phones have the same MAC address? I mean, I don't work in the telecom field, but... That's... Not how that works. That's not how any of that works. As a second ability, if a defender dies, they now drop a destructible phone that can be hacked by Dekebi, granting you access to all enemy cams as if they were your own, which can sometimes be very useful. Oh, right above you, right above you right now. In the fucking Injured. ski. Wait, let me, sh let me just chuck oh, one of God. these at him. Oh, it's a flashbang, shit. <laughs> Why do I have flashbangs? Why do I have flashbangs on Buck? I am meant for mass destruction. I Why do I have flashbangs? It's pretty obvious to defenders once their cams have been hacked because they receive an audio cue, there's a yellow emoji looking thing on all of their cams, and they no longer lose 10 points for shooting out one of their own cameras that's been hacked. Hack! It's worth noting that mute is a hard counter and that if you're standing within range of a mute jammer when she calls your phone, it won't ring. And a little phone vibration may not seem like a big deal, but sometimes I get so irritated with it that I'll just sit on a jammer the entire round. I know she's dead, I'm just staying on the jammer to prove a point. Then I'm pretty sure Ash just flashed herself. Okay. Hard peak, she has an ACOG. Oh, lucky spray. Oh, 
<laughs> That's the new meta, see? Just sit on your jammer all day, and no matter how many times Doki Doki Girl ET phones home, just... You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Looks like my boy Mute with his brand new Elite skin is finally useful again. Ain't that right, Mute? <clears throat> Ain't that right, Mute? Do you know what? Maybe we'll come back to him later. I have no idea why he's being so silent. I'm playing the quiet game! I think it's no coincidence that both Dekebi and Drake start with the letter D because they both call you on your cell phone late night when they need your love. I mean, your cams. I mean, whatever. Just remember that she's not a fan of Mute and she's a huge fan of Valkyrie for obvious reasons. Transitions are weird. Her weapon loadout is just as unique as her gadget because she's got a rifle that screams Vietnam louder than Lieutenant Dan without any legs and a double barrel shoddy that's twice the barrels and twice the fun. What's in the canister? Still alive, asshole! You probably know by now that her M14 is an incredibly accurate two-shotting machine that Ubisoft forgot to add recoil to, which can be spammed harder than copy pasta on a Discord chat without mods. Okay. I feel kind of bad killing another member of the Yoga Pants Club, but whatever. Valkyrie really is a thick boy. Yes, I got him. That's what you get for leaving your desk, boy. And Valkyrie's in the bathroom? I guess? Or she's running the closet? <laughs> but did you know about the hip fire that's tighter than the pants she's wearing? Yes, hip fire. Look at that. Hip fire for the Where win. is your pistol recoil now, demon woman? I've seen plenty of people try to force her into a pusher roll by slapping a reflex or a hollow on the top, which kind of works. Honked! Double punk. Holy shit ball. But if you really want to push like your name is HR shoving stuff, then look no further than the double barrel. Or as my friend Vicious Walrus calls it, the bubble Daryl boss G shotgun. Think I can beat this cat can? Yep, certainly oh. can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last oh. words. One out four remaining. <laughs> nice. <laughs> This is how we do it. Come at me, fam. Seconds remaining. Seconds. Yes! Nice. Oh, you hear spicy. more? Spicy, please. I'm still very satisfied that I hit Cap Can in the face. <laughs> after thinking I would not hit Cap Can in the face. Is it more fun than using the M14? Yes. Is it more effective than using the M14? No. I'll definitely go into much more depth about this thing in my video about Viggle because I think it's much more potent on defense than it is on offense, but here are two things to remember. Number one, the people spewing the words OP insta kill weapon, OP insta kill weapon like a bunch of automatons need to realize that every weapon in Siege is a one kill weapon if you can headshot, and you can only do so much with a capacity of two shells when every Everybody you're shooting at probably has a 30 round mag. See that shit? Number two, I'm hearing the line high risk, high reward all over YouTube, and I think it's losing its meaning. So here's another way to say it. Beyond the obvious need to hit your target with your first shot to avoid immediate death, the odds are stacked against you, and there are several variables that do not lean in your favor. Sometimes you hit an enemy in the legs, and they don't die. Oh, I hit him too. Oh. I know that I hit him in the leg, definitely. Oh yeah, he's at like a 5 HP. But hold on, let me, let me see this though, let me... Yup, hit him in the leg. Oh, that's frustrating. Sometimes you hit a fat ass 3 armor operator in the chest and they don't die. Oh, it... I hit him directly in the chest and he did not go down. That rook just burgered his way through that. Gosh darn thick boys. Everybody that's telling me that this double barrel is OP needs to use it for like a day. And then they'll be, oh wait, that's not even that good. Sometimes you're served up some wonky net code or shitty hit reg and they don't die. All of these variables are constantly working to your detriment with a single shot weapon. That's why I think the weapon is not overpowered. But if you're looking for a silver lining, all of these odds being stacked against you makes that insta kill one shot that much more satisfying if you can manage to pull it off. I'm a gator. Oh, I still got her. Oh. Even walking cuss. It's your boy. Five seconds remaining. Oh. One out, four remaining. Oh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> God. Ella. 
That's on the Ella kill cam? He just watch tripped. <laughs> he tripped over his fucking shoelaces. Oh, Valkyrie's right here. You see that? That's exactly what I mean. You see that first shot in the chest? She doesn't go down. She's like 10 feet away. And I guess we're all standing in the same spot now, Legion. Thank you very much. And I guess Ban I guess Bandito's gonna run out of ammo. How many things could possibly go wrong for an enemy team at the same time? And furthermore, Dekebi has a secret weapon that happens to be a secondary weapon called the SMG-12, which is perfect for shredding people in close quarters. Well, that was terrifying. Oh, baby, the sprays. Oh, no. And then I said, uh-oh, you freaking moron. You just got beam. Wow. That was like perfect spray pattern. It went from his toe to his head. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Could my pants get any tighter? Holy shit. <laughs> Them shits was vacuum sealed. 33 rounds, fully automatic, a ludicrous rate of fire, and sight attachments. What's not to love? It's basically the closest you can get to having two primary weapons. I Wow, 10 out of 10 run out, my man. The only downside is the recoil, so bursting it is highly recommended, but I think it's the perfect pairing with the M14. You can whip this thing out while you're vulnerable and trying to actually enter the building, murking anybody that pops out in close quarters, and then swap over to your ACOG M14 to start busting grapes in the longer sight lines near the objective room. Wrecked. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> Oh shit! So now that you know her gadget and her guns, my biggest piece of advice with Doki Doki Girl here is to make a goddamn push when you ring phones. Peace free. Stop calling me, mom. I'm gonna call phones and then I'll bust it open. All right, watch this. I smell heretics! I got him, I got him, I got the rice warmer. The hostage, let's go. Okay. Best case scenario, you shoot someone in the face while they're on their phone, and worst case scenario, you get a hint while you're peeking as to where enemies are located due to the buzzing sound. Either way, you have the upper hand. It's okay, I got the dock. You got it. All right, volume two. Here we go, Humana, get in there. 10 seconds left. Nice. Yeah. Teamwork. Never be that guy that rings phones just for the sake of ringing phones and continues casually strolling around the map like a giant loafer. You may as well ask Sledge to smash your iPad in half if you're gonna do that. Headshot. If you want to get fancy, you can really destroy another team if you stack calling phones with another ability. Because one thing it does really well is force people to stop moving. The perfect time for your boy Fuse to make it rain hockey pucks. Hey, you might want to answer. Oh, you're fucked. I ain't even mad. That's such a good combo. You get everybody to answer their phone, and then Fuse just blows everything up. That's neat. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm oh, fucked. I got impacted with one of those. Oh, my God. Fucking Wayne Gretzky here hitting me with the puck. Maybe you want to smoke up the objective, call phones, and fire at the vibration sounds. Maybe you want to call phones and have IQ call out the position of defenders turning them off. The list goes on. I don't know, you guys are the creative ones. Come on, IQ, get in there. You're wearing running shoes for a reason. Just John Wick both of them, just pow pow, in like half a frame. You can do it. Yeah, no. Mute, why are you on a... Table, yes, I got him. Hey, mute, have you tried my e liquid? I guess not. Uh, can you use that new report for toxicity button on yourself? Because I'm like Britney Spears level right now. And that's about it. I would like to thank you very much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time when we argue that Istanbul should still be called Constantinople.